Well, bit of snafu, my leader died. That's unfortunate. But whatever, we'll jump back in to Republic of Sagellan. So, I had some thoughts since the uh, last episode. Um, I'll note that uh, something I'm basically thinking about doing. My character here, he's basically, you know, um, not really going to be like able to compete against this guy here for like, you know, uh, respect or anything. But I might be able to compete like, against this guy if uh, I have to get a chance. This guy here, he's got much less respect. Or, you know, you know, he's basically near respect to me, basically. We're similar in age. He just has, like, more prestige with what's, you know, going on with him. But, basically what I'm going to do, we're actually going to look at this guy. And, if he basically gets, you know, elected, then, you know, he gets elected. But if he dies, then there's good, basically a chance that I might be able to pull out a dojo like with this character instead. I'll see if I can do that, basically. Or maybe I'll die. We'll see. This guy's currently set up to be, like, the next, um... Replacement for, like, air. And he's, like, a lot worse than this character for prestige, but whatever. So. Ooh. I'm a commander. Cool. So basically, the goal of this episode is to serve the weight, and I guess it's serve like all the episodes, but... Whatever. We're just gonna sit around, try and behave ourselves. And some guys want to increase the faction power, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, it sucks when you have wrong government types like this, because it basically, you know, causes your guys to be kissed off for, you know, real, really no good reason. I can't award him really anything, really, of you note, so... And notice that both these guys are wrong government types, they're basically both uh, castle guys, trying to increase their power. And this guy really doesn't like the king. Actually, a lot of people don't like the king. If I actually look at the king right now, his vassals. Yeah, he's got a few people who like him. Everyone else hates him. They have no good reason to like him. He's a tyrant. He's raised levies. He's the wrong government type. Whatever. And you know, it's kind of funny. I figured I would have more troops, but... I do have more troops. Okay, I just need to let them replenish first. Once I let those guys replenish, I might go do like some, you know, battles and such. I know, by the way, I'm also waiting for like, you know, um, stuff to get built, basically down here and here. Oops, my feet. These guys down here are raiding me, I bet. Yeah. This is technically all my vassals down here, I think, so... Yeah, they're all my vassals over here. Alright, so this guy wants to basically get... Um, stuff done. You're this guy up over here. If these guys are spread out, I can take him, I think. But they're right next to each other, so it's going to be difficult to go after them. Uh, I'll say I can take this guy, but... It's going to be a difficult battle going against this guy. Oh, 
Well, I was supposed to steward there and the military guy I had, but whatever. You can be my steward for a little bit. And, uh... Riffle can be my commander. Or not commander, my marshal. These guys can be my commanders. Make this guy my commander. Alright, let's do this, I guess. Why is this guy commander? He should be commander. Alright, well, there we go. Now, I got a small R compared to this guy, so it might be a bit of an issue going after him, but... I'm lucky I, I can probably take him if I get mercenaries, maybe. And when this world, we getting a prestige, of course, which is, you know, useful for getting, you know, elected in the future. You know, I only need so many, you know, so many guys, so... A small mercenary company is really all I need. Eh. I'll just go for one of these, like, 15 higher ones, I guess. Alright, these guys. We'll get the boats. Don't worry about these 21 guys, there's 21 guys. Alright, so there's my fleet. I got a small you know, amount of troops here, so... I should be able to smash this guy easily enough. Nope, you're not getting away, you're getting smashed. Smashed them! And this guy raided me yet again. Let's go kill these raiders so that they get out of my land. I know this is actually one bad thing about Mercenary Republic because the, the city is like their, you know, chief capital. It's very easy for um, raiders to basically raid Mercenary Republics for money. All right, let's actually separate this army. Now, the reason I actually separated this army into two is so I can possibly at least siege this with this guy. I don't have the army to take it down completely, but I can enjoy it a little bit, I guess. I lose a few mercenaries, but whatever. I'm paying them to die, right? Wow, I already won. I'll get a little bit of money.
I could seize down this guy too if I want, but... Or we're gonna seize down the temple. Might as well, right? Get a little bit more money. You have just learned that the captain of one of your trade galleys has been selling parts of his cargo to urban smugglers instead of delivering it as ordered. Apparently hoping the amount sold would be too small to be noticed. The captain and his crew have been jailed, but the feeling scum have already spent most of their ill-gotten profits on spirits and women. Can no one be trusted these days? Yet again, I lose money. Annoying. Alright, that's gonna be it for the temple. Let's go siege up the fort and maybe the city over here. So you notice that my basically I've got like 840 here and then I siege it, I get like a little bit of money. It's a little bit of money, but it's enough. A bit more money. Now, when I force demands, I'll note that I get more prestige from this. This is really why I want. I just let this fire it off. Now, the bad thing about this is that he's losing a lot of uh, prestige. But then again, he's also... Well, this guy is... Um, negative prestige, but whatever. Basically, the bad thing here is that, like, these guys... Well, if this guy was, like, you know, electable, it'd be an issue. But this guy here, whatever. I'm just gonna revoke your title, I think. It's my cousin, he's just lost his title. This guy has enough prestige to be given land, I guess. So I'll give you Narva. And I can sacrifice this guy to give it to someone else who will, you know, benefit from it. Yes, yeah, so you can for his own ransom. So I'll note to this guy, he doesn't have like any land, but he does have some prestige, so. We'll grant him Dorpat. Now, the benefit of like granting him these guys' titles is that even though they're wrong government types, granting him the title will actually give him like a big boost in like you know liking me, so it helps that way. And think about where's the this guy. You probably don't need to be doing anything there. And you want to appoint me a commander again, okay. And none of these guys are worth importance, so we're just gonna let them go. You are my daughter. Hello, daughter. I have more troops down here. Now, my my council is obviously still going to be discontented and all that, but whatever. I got some prestige for smashing that guy. That helps me get more respect, as you can see, it's now just above this guy a little bit because I got more respect from it, more prestige rather. Hey, Castle Town got built. So that'll help with the money a little bit over here. Now, stuff I should actually be doing, I haven't been doing, but I can actually upgrade these trade posts to get a little bit more money from. Like, these are all my trade posts, so I can get more garrisons if I want to, or I can get, like, you know, more um, income. And income's always good. Let's build a merchant port here. 
in here. Here. I got more ports around too. Like over here. I think I lost a trade port somewhere, but whatever. That happens. Oh yeah, look at this by the way. This guy's respect went way down because he basically dropped his campaign fund. He realized I don't need to have this much uh, money in the campaign fund anymore. This guy here. So your AI buddies, they're actually pretty smart when it comes to, you know, campaign fund. You know when to campaign fund, when not to. Some of these bishops, by the way, sometimes you'll see like they don't have campaign funds. Like this guy's a free 20 campaign fund. I never really saw the point of campaigning funds for your uh, cardinals, though. Yes, you can get your cardinal elected to be pope, but it doesn't really matter, you know, do too much to make your guy, guy pope, if you're, unless you're asking for money, I guess. Cool. You know, I'm trying to go after these guys over here. This guy's Slavic, so he won't come help, help these guys if I just attack him. I just need to get more more troops really for it. Eric Alcar has been elected a new Grand Prince for the Great Republic of Scandinavia. So, this finally happened. This guy took over because this guy died. He died of severe stress. So, with this guy now as like the Grand Prince, um, electability is now a big thing now. So it's basically me and this guy now basically competing for it. So let's put up my campaign fund a little bit so I have a good chance of getting to be elected. So you inherit all the titles from that. So you got the Republic of Speedy Jaw, the Grand Save Upland, all this sort of stuff. Fastest scanning revolt refused the revocation of Republic of Dryland, requested by Grand Prince Eric de Lude. Uh, decline. So apparently someone decided to revolt. That was stupid. Alright, our merchants are, you know, merchant ports are getting built. So this will help with the trade value, not sure how that works with like getting more money, but... I assume this helps with like getting more money from here. Oh, this guy upped his campaign fund. And you know what, I don't need to have this guy as my uh... I basically did that so I could basically see when he got elected. Now I'm more interested in getting elected myself, so... Now I'll note that I have a lot more money than this guy, so... I should be able to get elected a lot easier than him. Hey! After a couple days, just spending some time doing things I love, hunting, reading, and visiting friends. Life does not seem as great as it did before. I feel better now. I'm no longer depressed. That's really good. Well, this guy... He apparently wants to increase council power. He's a fuel lord, but whatever. See, I'm waiting for my army levels to get increased, and I think what I'm going to do is we're going to start doing Holy Wars over here. If I get, like, more land, that'll get me a lot of prestige, and prestige will help a lot. A wealthy local, no um, local noble is looking to escape the consequences of several indiscretions on his part against a female member of the Acre family. He has offered to pay handsomely for passage on one of his ships to a foreign port, where he can hopefully lay low for a few years. Alright. I like getting money. Money's good. 
Money goes up, money goes down. Money goes up, money goes down. Eh, why not? We'll boost up, up to 500. So he's got a campaign fund of 600 after I base it. It's 500. Uh, it feels like everyone is trying to trump me. My huntsman killed more prey than I. My counselor has found a better solution to the rebels, rebels pelling peasants than mine. I started to feel that everyone was better than me no matter what. Oh, that's just a better thing. I just have to accept it. I'd rather be kind and envious. This guy still needs to get some land, or no, he doesn't. He's got no prestige. Never mind. I wonder if I can grant this guy land. I don't think I can because he's my designated heir. Grant to this guy, though, if I want to. Hey, you got a daughter. Cool. Cool, so you're there. A convoy flying the aft Munster Standard was ambushed by pirates today while on their way home, with their holds full of precious cargo. Thanks to the quick actions of their crew, they managed to turn the tables on the pirates and capture two of their galleys. The prize money will be divided evenly, but the lion's share goes to you! Finally, some good news. Money! Up oh, there goes the Pope. Up, oh, someone's trying to kill me. I must be careful. Uh, I actually don't want my sister trying to kill my son. And you know what? It probably makes sense to get a better spy master at this point. I'm going to fire this guy as a counselor. This is going to piss him off, but uh, what I'm going to do is have this guy. He's going to be my chancellor. You can be my military guy. Now, who doesn't like me, apparently? And this guy doesn't like me because, whatever. He's this guy right over here, this guy that didn't like me to begin with. Um, I'm not gonna worry about him. All right, this guy, let's try to make him like me, I guess. Maybe. Apparently I can't improve the black relations with myself, which I guess makes sense, but whatever. I wonder if anyone holds claims on stuff I have. You know, it might just be better to leave this guy as is for now. Not doing anything. And here's what I basically after. I want to get the spy master to basically be um, someone who will basically root out the plots against me. So we're going to do like plot defense here. So I'm covering our plots. Um, discourage vassals from doing faction and such. So, for example, I could go on this guy. Do that there. Oh, 
A lot of stuff happening over here. This would be a good time for Germany to be attacked if uh, this guy wasn't in a revolt. Andrew Eisen, captain in command of one of our guys, discovered a sudden new markets on foreign shores. He reports that these distant ports are rife for, with opportunities for trade and profit. More profit. Hey, I'm doing quite well. So, I guess this guy isn't funding as much for his uh, campaign election. Yeah, he dropped his campaign fund a little bit. He realized you know, it's not worth it. Which means I'm likely to be, be the next Doge elect. Or, you know, Merchant Prince. Bells everywhere. Nope, he's getting crushed here, but he won there. The peasant revolt is dead. It's just this revolt over here now. Is that enough to crush his little army? I wonder. Looks like it is. I'm making lots of money. Lots of money. Maybe we'll upgrade these now. Yoink. You're having kids, of all things. Hmm. Ah, yeah, sure, let's get Poland, maybe allied. I don't want to go now, Russia back. You're only kinswoman. Whatever. Build that there. There's a man I need to arrest, and another I want to assassinate. My spy master, John, could either help with arrest or arrest assassination or both. Or not both. Um, it's probably better to get plot power, I guess. Hey, the Grand Mansion kind of finally got built. Oops, is he gonna go after me over here? I think this guy actually got mercenaries to help him out. This is gonna be funny, he's actually attacking this guy who's got bigger army, but he's got more, you know, morale, so he might win by morale. Yeah, he won by morale. Sometimes you can win by morale like that. So yeah, by the way, I bought a great mansion here, some more trade income from it. I wonder if this increases the trade limit when you basically get up high enough. Alright, there's the Merchant Enclave built. So boosting all these things up will get me more money in the long run, so that's why I'm doing it. That got built. <laughs> I probably should have spaced these out a little bit, but whatever. Increasing the tax levels all a little bit. More money, more taxes. Oops. The temple got destroyed over here. That can happen, by the way. If uh, raiders basically attack you, they can actually destroy like holdings that aren't like the main holding. That's unfortunate.
You know, this guy's got very little money invested now. Uh, very well. This guy can be a military commander, I guess. My brother's not a military commander, I guess. Where's my, my marshal? This guy's my marshal, so I got a guy became a military commander. Oops! Looks like the rebels are actually winning this war over here. Probably because they got those mercenaries. So... What is this war for? Is this a war against tyranny? So this guy try to revoke his, his thing, I, I bet. Alright, I'm experiencing battle, so... I can get mastery in flat terrain, winter terrain, cavalry, or light foot. Probably look to see what I'm good at leading, so... What I am leading, rather. So basically you can look and see what these, these basically lead. Most of the time, um, for cities, you'll probably have like light infantry at your command, so... Lightfoot might be good. It's also good to do what winter terrain does as well, and flat terrain. Let's get flat terrain. Might be useful. Hey! I'm excellent at, uh, military now. More military for me! I'm a military commander. Apparently one of my courtiers is actually uh, I can't to get elected over here. Interesting. you die so I can take over? That'd be really nice of you. I guess I can increase the campaign speed a little bit too. Still some troops to get. It's funny, all the troops I really need are over here in this county. The one with like, you know, the main amount of troops I can get is from there. So this is worth knowing, if you actually have a lot of holdings, you see more trade value. And cities increased by a lot as well. Ah, <laughs> oh, well look at that! Hodruff of Muscle has been elected a new Grand Prince of Gra Great Republic of Scandinavia. It finally happened. I got my achievement and I'm now the ruler of Scandinavia again. Grand Prince Horvath of Scandinavia has inherited the Principality of Scandinavia, Republic of Swedish, Grand City of Upland, from Grand Prince Eric de Lude. If I want to, I can usurp a title, title, apparently down here. Alright, who's going to be next to be elected? And, oh yeah, look at these. These guys are all vassals now. Uh, so this guy's now basically, like, you know, my next guy to be elected, you know, because he's my chosen successor. Uh, I can grant you land titles. Cool. If I grant him a stuff, he'll basically get, you know, prestige, and prestige is good for this type of guy. Alright, let's put down my troops. And I should go into hiding because someone's trying to kill me. Well, whatever. Can I invite back the Jews yet? Oh, wait, the Jews are already back. Never mind. So I know, by the way, I could do stuff like that, like this that you know gets more more prestige for you, commission of runestone and such. But um, really, I don't need to get prestige myself. It's my um, heir that needs to get the prestige. All right, I need to elect some people. So who's the best diplomat? You're all the way down there. At least you're decent for this. This guy, Grandmaster Veslin. He desires the Republic of Sigillan. 
He wants to see in a council. He's ambitious. I'm always tempted to let this guy revolt just for the hell of killing him. Uh, this guy is this guy here, right? So. Yeah, see yourself I know. If these guys, if they were to declare war on me and I was to crush them, they lose, they actually lose respect for it, so. Pissing off this guy would be like, you know, advantageous, shall we say. So, Vestland. This guy make a good steward if I actually let him be steward. Sure, why not? You can be my steward. I want the money. Make me money. The spy master. So you're the guy who wants, uh, you know, who I want to take, you know, prestige away from. I think Cattell. Uh, yeah, As Cattell is basically, you know, got all this. Uh, Prestige. Let's make this guy my spy master, cause I'm more prone to benefit from making him the spy master. Now, that should go away. This one right here, by the way, and I think this guy too. These factions, they're like, you know, um, they're basically like factions that um, encounter the entirety of like this empire, so these ones that are just for a duchy, they should go away. And this is more or less the end of this episode, by the way. I'm just sort of like, you know, hang on to like just manage stuff before going anywhere else. Alright, let's uh, send you to go here to Dal. Now yeah, let's study some technology, why not? That's something I can do again, by the way. Because my um, county is like, you know, my capital's upland here. I can make money. And, well, let's go here. Now, I wonder if he's benefiting from that income or if I am benefiting from the income. I have house months though, so I guess I get the income. I think that's how it works. Oh yeah, I have to remember I've got, you know, advisors so too, so... Apparently this guy's an advisor, don't know why. You're an advisor and you're all the way down there. I could piss this guy off real fast, I guess. It's not gonna hurt me, I guess, to piss him off. But more importantly, I want to put, like, you know, guys who are bad at stuff into positions of power. So, like, this guy, he can be an advisor. And we got... Grammar Skane, he could be an advisor. And I guess we'll make this guy who's really crappy my advisor, or my chancellor. Eh, we can go for John, why not? John can be my marshal. Alright, I think I'll more or less set this up for continuation. Not any wars at the moment, which is quite nice. So this guy is what? I can usurp this guy's title if I want to. At least one of the titles. I can actually have the, the Rome's, um, the Papacy's, like, title for this area over here. Well, I like the Rome, uh, Rome dislike me, though, if I do that. Or, this is a good way of getting some, you know, um, prestige and 
Let's get that out of the way. Hope doesn't seem to mind. That's good. Hey, look at that. I can actually uh, um, choose a successor for the Kingdom of Italy if I want, Italy if I want to. So you're the wrong government type. And of course, you just want Deduxy in your ambitious and all that. These guys might rebel on me down here, but whatever, we'll deal with that when it happens. Yeah, if I want to, I can nominate people for like the Kingdom of Italy, though. It doesn't really matter who I, who I go after. Sure, I'll make this guy my pick. And apparently, I can actually invade the Pope if I want to. Not going to do that, but I could do that. So, this guy, he actually destroyed all the Kingdom, of, Kingdom titles, so that's no longer a thing. Kingdom Tell is going to be made. And let's get this up and this up. Trade practices up, sure. Construction. Majesty. Get a lot of stuff up. Alright, well this is probably a good time to basically... Uh, My father, my mother. Right, I had a matrimonial marriage with this guy, so... If I want to, I could actually, I could actually claim Bulgaria down here. It's kind of big, though. I don't think Bulgaria is worth trying to claim. But it is pretty weak at the moment. And I got no army. Okay. Well, anyways... This is going to be it for this episode. I managed to get my uh, Doge Elect status back. I'm now the uh, Grand Prince yet again. We'll try and piss this guy off and get him killed, basically. Hey, look, I can use campaign fun to get this guy up in respectability if I want. That's worth noting. Anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next one. For now, take care.